Welcome to speedearning.com. So we are seeing the rule of FATP, average traded price in M6 trading. So average is generally the average of high and low of the period. And uh, the calculation of volume is also involved there. So weighted average, volume weighted average price, period may be day, week or year. If some commodity are scraped maintaining above ATP, then it is said strong in buy side. If it slips below its average or ATP, then it becomes weak and we can sell it. So you should focus on uh, crossover. If something is uh, crossing from downside to upside, then it is a sudden buying crossover. If something is crossing from upside to downside, then it is a selling crossover. So in commodity, ATP is very very important. Say crude was running today near average. I am taking an old example. So uh, it was running near the average, say 5720. After some struggle, it came fairly up above 5720 with increasing buyers. Then two options are possible for trading. First option buy crude at 5728 and uh, keep the stop loss of 8 or 9 point, maybe 5719. So you bought at 28 and kept the stop loss of 19. Or buy crude June and sell crude July means by this month sell next month stop was 7 or 8 point outside so hedging gives us uh, the support till clarity suppose if you are trying to buy something and you may be right after hitting your stop loss twice it is going in the same direction what you expected but you can't re-enter third time that's why we suggest you to go with the hedging only because hedging is not giving you anything but you are getting 10 points one side and losing 8 or 9 points other side but it is still okay you are in equal position you are not losing anything and even if you are losing 200 rupees 300 rupees in such combination and after two stop losses you, uh, you lost 300 rupees then you can re-enter in the next trade so that is most important thing generally 45 uh, 40 50 point stop loss in crude is given by tippers all over india they are taking a big stop loss and giving you smaller targets so what is happening suppose you are hitting one stop loss for 4000 rupees and no one is talking about trading in, into the mini lots or multiple mini lots no one cares about, about your capital they are thinking that all of you are millionaires and you don't bother about the 5 ten thousand rupees per day loss so it's okay uh, you are taking the stop loss of 40 points and getting 15 20 points targets twice so still you are not in plus because you need to pay the brokerage taxes as well so then you will get if you are hitting 16 point stop loss both side in hedging so still you are having the chances to repeat the same stop loss for three times in the traditional 40 point 50 point stop loss so it is not possible to hit three stop losses consecutively if you are entering at 554 629 and 654 pm so these are the timing when big moves are there you may be right wrong once twice but on third time there is 80% possibility to get the right profit. Now crude went up to 5790 from 5720. So average is still 5732. So it is 50, 60 point above the average. Then it is often seen that uh, crude slip below to the ATP once then bounce back again if data supports 
so that is the rule of atp suppose crude crossed over above the atp and they need maintain there there was a buying and buying by 40 to 50 points so after 40 to 50 points up move there will be a profit booking it will come again to the atp level and in the next time slot if there is strength continues then it will bounce back from there but just keep the average traded price in the mind so what should we do here book once buy profit then sell at 5790 and keep stop loss of 10 point that is one method or simply you can make a hedging there so you can have the three fold profit you bought 5720 and had the profit once for 40 to 50 points then at upside you made the hedging again with 7 to 10 points once you are fell second time you tried you were successful you got 30 40 points again and near the average you can go again with buying or hedging simply third time and getting 30 40 or maybe 100 point uh, profit so the total profit is three to four times in minimum risk it is possible so the ATP phenomenon may be seen in all other scripts as well so you just keep watching it may be possible in zinc mini lead mini nickel especially and gold it's uh, the less chances into the gold but in all other things what I uh, mentioned here you can keep the notice on uh, this reverse uh, touching the ATP after a jump and bouncing again from here so it will happen in the right time slots just keep the time slots in the mind and keep practicing just observe with the outline what we are explaining here that will give you idea to watch the market and to learn the right trading practices thank you very much